In this video, I'm going to talk about very quickly about the eraser tool and then about the pen tool and probably um, the rectangles and circles and polygon tool, which is in this toolbox here. Um, this is a continuation from the first video. Obviously, it's still the same objects. Um, I'm still in the uh, in the very straight on uh, plane view, plane top view, as you can see here. And I selected uh, no perspective. This would be perspective, and this is no parallel project projection. It's called. I'm going to close that just by hitting this arrow here. So I'm just going to close it. Give me a little bit more space. Um, let's draw. Let's draw a line. If you just want to draw a line, we did this earlier, but basically you just pick this pencil tool. Every time you click on this tool and has a little tiny little error here, you can see a tiny little error. Um, that shows as multiple tools in this toolbox. I'm, I don't have to select a different one because it's already selected, but if I wanted the freehand tool, which I'm going to do in the moment, I would have to switch. But anyway, right now, straight line tool, all you have to do is click and click. It tells you, um, you know, right now, I clicked here a second time down here. The line I drew, the total length was, and I don't want to move, but the, the length was 3,084. Well, I'm going to move. You can see it down here. That was the length of that of that line. Um, but the moment I move, I, I start another object. Here's another one. So there's information to be gained about the length of, and that is, that's very youth, useful. You can use it as a ruler. We'll get to the, uh, the tape measure down here at some point. But um, this can be rather useful. Again, it creates all these surfaces that if you don't want them, you can delete them. Let's go to uh, the, uh, the eraser tool. I hardly ever use it. Um, I prefer to select with my select tool and then hit delete on my keyboard. But you can just click it directly and it goes away. Or you can, apparently, you can also just touch it with the mouse. I'm holding the mouse key down right now here. And then when you let go, it makes them all go away. So that's kind of a, if you have to if you erase a lot, this is actually faster and kind of useful. All right, that's the eraser tool. We're skipping the paint buckets. We're sp skipping that for now. Let's go to this tool. There's many tools in here you see. There is uh, the rectangle for drawing rectangles and squares. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this is for a rotated rectangle. This is for circles, polygons, and text. You can actually put text in um, 3D text into SketchUp. Doesn't make sense right now because we want to do it in, in 2D. But let's say here yeah, we did this earlier, kind of very quickly. This is there's a rectangle. If it gives you that blue diagonal line, that will be a square. And the dimensions are given to you at the bottom right. If I want to change the dimensions, I can just type them in. Let's say 800. I don't have to click on the box. As a matter of fact, it doesn't work. You just type and comma space. And let's make that 800 to make it. So now, and then I hit enter. This was, this is just a, a an object that is 800 by 800 millimeters. If, um, if I want to make sure I can click on the item and I can right click on the mouse, entity info, that tells you information about this object that I selected. And right now, I, you know, it is 800 millimeters as I had hoped or planned. If I want to make a circle, there are circles. Again, I can change the, the, the radius, not the diameter, the radius. So let's say that's 400, hit enter. Now it's 400. It finds the center if you. If you're patient enough and you go to the edges sometimes, sometimes you have to zoom in. Come on, find me the center. Uh, it doesn't work. Oh, there it is, center. Okay, so I found the center. Yeah, sometimes you have to mess around with it a bit. And then, of course, you know, I can cut out the center surface or this ring surface. I can take my pen tool and go to the I can follow the, the the red axis if I can get it. Come on, red axis. Here's the red axis. The red axis is the one that goes perfectly across. Why is this not working? Oh, here it is. There we go. Anyhow, on to the next video.